Okay, a very quick video covering a new assumption that we have. This assumption is model misspecification. So what does that mean? Do you remember last time? In order to estimate the counterfactual, so to deal with the fundamental problem of causal inference that we can never see the counterfactual, we went ahead and we used a model to estimate this counterfactual. We assumed that the counterfactual was generated in a linear way. This is what we did last time with linear regression. But is that right? So there can be many, many violations to model misspecification. I'm going to cite two here, and then I'm going to talk about the general trend. So for example, above is, uh, sorry. So is our model actually linear or not? So is the model that generates counterfactuals, that generates number of days sick, actually linear in the terms that we were representing? So is it linear in necessarily white blood cell count? Or is it polynomial? So y equals white blood cell count plus some polynomial factor, some squared factor uh, Q, uh, of white blood cell count, or is it you add maybe cubed factors in? We're not necessarily sure. Uh, the second thing that it could be, perhaps, uh, that could be wrong with our model's misspecification is are there interaction terms? Are there interaction terms? So in our example above, we assumed it was a linear model, so it was generated in some linear way. And we also assumed that the terms didn't necessarily interact. So that y equaled so our, our treatment plus our cof or plus our confounder in some linear way. However, maybe it's y equals our treatment plus our treatment times the confounder plus the confounder. There's many different ways we can write the formula for what the causal effects might be. So how do we know what's right? There are a couple of tools that can give us some intuition, some glimpse into whether a model is correctly specified or not. I'm not going to be getting into those right now, but later on in the advanced causal inference course, I'm going to go ahead and show you what these tools are and then show you how you can correct for this in specific ways. Uh, if you are interested, once again, in general modeling techniques and tools, I do suggest you check out my introduction to machine learning videos, which should already be posted.